Hi everyone, this is Mark of Tech Finance. Join me in my quick unboxing and initial setup of my Samsung Galaxy A50 Android smartphone, which is now available here in the Philippines for only 17,890 pesos. All right, join me. Let's go. Samsung Galaxy A50 is the hero mid-range Android smartphone of the Korean giant for the first half of 2019 in emerging markets including the Philippines. So as I've said, this model is priced at only 17890 making it a good upgrade for Filipino students and young professionals who currently have an entry-level handset and are now thinking about leveling up to a more powerful device. Samsung Galaxy A50's packaging is a plain white box with the image of the handset on top and the list of its main features or technical specifications listed at the bottom. Some of the highlights of this model include its Infinity U display, triple rear camera module, and on-screen fingerprint scanner. Alright, now we're ready to cut the stickers and to lift the cover. Needless to say, if you're buying your handset brand new, make sure that the seals are not yet broken. Okay, there you have it. Now let's remove the lid and check out all the items inside the box. Let's do this slowly. Ladies and gents, this is Samsung Galaxy A50 in the flesh. Alright, it seems that there are some items under the cover, so let's check these out. There's the sleeve that we need to pull out. I think it's nice that Samsung had generously included this free soft gel case so you won't have to buy one separately. The quick start guide is practically a pamphlet which includes very concise information about the Samsung Galaxy A50. I suggest that you read this so you can have a good background about the basic features of the device. And here we have the warranty card which pretty much guarantees after-sales support for your Samsung Galaxy A50. Now let's lift the smartphone off its cradle and check out all the other accessories inside the box. This is a basic pair of earphones from Samsung with built-in microphone that you can use for voice calls as well as video chats. Let me pull out the buds so you can see them. So there you go, that's how it looks. Next, we have the USB Type-C to USB connector cable, which you will use for charging the device as well as for transferring files to a desktop or a laptop. Of course, we have the travel charger. This one has a pretty fast 2A output, which means that it won't take too long to charge the phone's rather large 4000 mAh lithium polymer battery pack. And finally, we have the pin for ejecting the tray, which has two slots for nano SIM cards and one for micro SD card. 
This means that you won't have to sacrifice the phone's dual SIM capability to get more space for your large files including photos and videos. The Samsung Galaxy A50 has this plastic cover which adds some layer of protection during shipment. Let's remove it by pulling this flap right here. Slowly. Okay, that's the bare Samsung Galaxy A50. Now let's take a closer look at its design. At the bottom, we have the 3.5mm audio jack, the USB Type-C port, a microphone pinhole, and the loudspeaker. Nothing on top but a microphone pinhole. On the right panel, we have the volume rocker as well as the power button. And on the left panel, we have the tray for the SIM card slots as well as the micro SD card slot. The back panel has a glossy finish and rounded sides and corners. In the upper left corner, you will see the phone's triple rear camera module, which is one of its main selling points. Now let's turn on our Samsung Galaxy A50 by long pressing the power button. Samsung Galaxy A50 is powered by a 10 nanometer Exynos 9610 Octa processor that incorporates a Mali G72 MP3 GPU that's good for gaming and it also has 6 gigs of RAM for smooth multitasking as well as 128 gigs of internal storage. Let's begin the initial setup of the Samsung Galaxy A50 by clicking on this arrow. If you have time, you can read all of these information about the device, but for now, I'll just tick this uh, box and click Next. Here, you can connect to your old Samsung Galaxy smartphone for transferring data, or if you wish so, you may skip this step. Next, you'd have to connect to a fast and reliable Wi-Fi network, and then wait for the phone to check for updates and other information. After which, you'd have to sign in to your Google account and you'd have to agree to terms and conditions. You can restore applications that you have already installed on your previous handsets or you may also set up your Galaxy A50 as a new device. Samsung Galaxy A50 has a slew of privacy and security features like your usual pattern and pin unlock as well as facial recognition. One thing that's special about Samsung Galaxy A50 though is that it has an on-screen fingerprint scanner. Here, I'll try to register my thumbprint. I'll just tap on this section of the screen using my thumb several times, making sure that my entire thumbprint is scanned completely. I can also do this for my other thumb as well as my pointer and index fingers. The in-display fingerprint scanner is actually pretty useful if you want to unlock the device and it's placed on the table so you don't have to flip it over. The location of the scanner is also very accessible if you're holding the handset and you're unlocking it using your thumb. Next, we can set up Google Assistant as well as turn on or turn off Google services on the Samsung Galaxy A50. The phone will add some finishing touches. And here we can choose to install or skip some recommended apps from Samsung. The user can log in or register for a Samsung account or if you wish so, like me, you can just continue using your Google account. Simply allow Samsung to access your Google account and you're good to go. Here, you can back up your data from Samsung Cloud or you can skip it. And we're all done! Let's click Finish and let's begin to navigate the user interface of our Samsung Galaxy A50. This model runs Android 9.0 Pi operating system with the company's very own user interface called One UI. This is actually the same experience that you'll find on the more expensive Samsung Galaxy S series flagship line. 
Samsung Galaxy A50 features a 6.4 inch Full HD Plus 1080 by 2340 pixels Super AMOLED Infinity U display. I think the name of the screen alludes to the shape of the notch on top of the display that houses the 25 megapixel f2.0 selfie camera. In the settings, you will find sections on digital well-being, privacy and security, device maintenance and accessibility that allow you to get the most from this Android smartphone. Samsung Galaxy A50 features a triple rear camera module featuring a 25 megapixel f1.7 main camera with good low light performance, an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide secondary camera, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor enabling live focus mode. As I've said, one of the key selling points of this model would have to be its on-screen fingerprint scanner which adds a veritable layer of privacy and security for the owner. Okay, now let me show you the Samsung Galaxy A50 with its soft gel case on. What I like about this soft gel case is that it feels great in the hand, it's not that bulky, and it also doesn't make the physical buttons hard to press. Samsung Galaxy A50 is available in three colors. Obviously, I have the white version here, but it's also available in blue and black. All colors have a seemingly iridescent gleam. Interested? This model is now available at all Samsung concept stores and authorized retail channels nationwide. Alright, so there you have it. If you have any questions about my Samsung Galaxy A50, just post them in the comment section below. Alright? Bye for now!